Bugsy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bugsy? Well, I'm Sakamaru. I'm watching this I'm watching this particular Banjo Kazooie video for context. So that way when I talk about Banjo Kazooie in a Smash League video, I'm not I'm not the one with my hand down my pants. <laughs> because even if I didn't even if I haven't played Banjo Kazooie recently, I can still look at this for actual context to see how the how it actually works. God, let me just okay guys. The real reason I did this little mini sketch is because, like, seriously, Electris is like, I really don't know or understand Banjo Kazooie. So, uh, I, you know, I, but I know this is part of the game. I'm just like, it's not that hard. You don't even have to play it. Just look at, you should look at this part. It should give you context of what's actually going on so you can actually craft a better video and say, well, I still don't know what Banjo Kazooie is. But at least you can still get a good context of what's actually going on with the video that we're showing. Ugh, we just, like, we get to, like, we like a lot of Christian. Sometimes the dude just, it's like when he, it's like, the man doesn't try to do his homework. Ugh, but, you know, seriously, guys, let's just talk about this for a minute. Banjo Kazooie might be a freaking Smash of DLC, who knows? I don't know. But it's gonna be fucking amazing, and I have some of it. <laughs> It's gotta be so fucking cool. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys, Bugsy's kind of overjoyed right now. I am overjoyed, but I am fucking happy as a fucking clown get getting freaking it's freaking pearl polished. Oh So uh yeah, Bugsy's happy today. Uh, we're pre-recording this for Friday, and <laughs> how do you feel, Bugsy? No, oh, freaking Jet Force Gemini is gonna be in the thing, so that means Rare is doing it. So everybody, who, so everybody who kind of said that Rare wouldn't even have a part in this, I'm gonna say, to, I say to you, I say to you, you guys don't know absolutely Jack, Jack Donkey, because like I said, Rare and Rare and Nintendo have been playing nicely, and nice. Why wouldn't Banjo be in it? Why wouldn't any rare characters be in Super Smash Brothers in some sort of way? Explain to me that little tidbit. Like, do you cool? <laughs> you cool, man? Hi! I'm mute! Alright. So, anyways, like I said. I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna look at this later. I'm gonna look at on this thing later. But yeah, I'm happy. We're like guys. You don't understand how I feel right now. We are like we we're like a week away from freaking. We are a week away from Banjo. I mean, we are a week away from Super Smash Brothers. I I don't, I don't know how I feel right now. It's everything, everything is shaking. And it's stuff, and my body is like going, oh. So um, yeah, we're, I'm good. Uh yeah. Bugsy, I took a word. Don't, don't. Oh yeah. Dance with the planks! With all the planks! Oh! Why are you doing this? No! I can't dance with the planks! That's like tomorrow. You know what we gotta do. My god, Bugsy, no! Yes! Because if 
because if Banjo Kazooie is going to be in here, if they are, if that, if if what we're hearing is real, and Nintendo is really taking down the Banjo Kazooie videos for Smash, that means. Oh my god, it's Mr. Patch, he is really freaky. He's a little dinosaur, but also kind of freaky. Oh my god, he's Mr. Patch, he is really freaky. He's an inflatable dinosaur with no bones at all. Oh my god, it's Mr. Patch, oh my god, it's Mr. Patch, oh my god, it's Mr. Patch. It's Mr. Patch, oh my god, it's Mr. Patch. Eight. I wonder if anybody remembers us doing this song. I don't believe anybody remembers. But anyway, either way it goes, this is like a throwback. Our Mr. Patch, he's a play with dinosaur, he's kind of geeky. Oh my god, it's Mr. Patch, he's very freaky. He's a play with dinosaur with no bones at all. So I'm gonna show Big Menu on Sucker Mario. Hold on, really. Come on, Fuzzy! It's been two, it's been freaking 25 years. Do you really gotta do that? Oh, yeah, don't even question it. Oh, oh Fuzzy! <coughs> Go on, Sucker Mario, I love Phil! Ow! Freaking sun fuzzy! Oh. The eggs! The eggs are coming out my throat! Feels like it feels like death down my throat! Ah. <laughs> die! Die, Mr. Patch, die! Why are you why are you flying right there as now? He's going to feel it! I shoved your- I- I felt- I felt you open for the Why?! <laughs> Shit! Ow! Damn it! <laughs> it hurts, it hurts! Oh, don't worry, I'm like, I'm gonna get you some aloe vera. You'll feel good. I am sucks! Oh my god, he's Mr. Patch. He is really freaky. He's a flammable dinosaur. I don't look kinda geeky. Mr. Patch, he is really freaky. Flammable dinosaur with no bones at all. Oh. Take it! He's going down! That's like where he's going down! No, he is! Ah. I can't feel my fucking throat! Seriously, I'm the to Ah, shit. That hurt. That fucking hurt. That's like a moral calm down. Ugh, come on, man. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, calm down, bro. Bro, I can't feel my. I can't feel my. I can't feel. I can't feel my throat. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Eh, let's end this off with something good. Nope. Nintendo shuts down two YouTube channels over the Smash Leaks. Tell me how my base was destroyed. Oh, you will do it. Mm-hmm. Why, Bugsy? Why? Why? That's like a rare you'll be fine. Shit. Here, take some of this aloe vera I had. You got me coconut? I got you the one you love. Ugh. Is Pat the NES Punk doing some more stuff again? Oh my god. See, see, this is the kind of shit I hate about Pat. Him and his little but him and his, him and his little beard buddy always be running their fucking mouths like usual. People, 
people don't like. Is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? Shut the up. Oh, fuck you guys. And PC, PS4, Xbox One, and even Switch together. But I'm sure would bring you in, I'm just speculating here, about another 100 million. And you're just totally just brushing all of those other customers that made Diablo what it is, that made Blizzard what it is, over to the side. And that's what they're pissed off at. Ian. It's, I'm telling you that most two things needed to happen. They made Diablo Immortal not just for mobile devices, also for home consoles and PC. And even if they pulled a Bethesda, where Bethesda showed the Elder Scrolls 6, where they just took mm -hmm. something from National Geographic and plastered the logo on top, showed no gameplay whatsoever, it was just barely even a trailer. If they did the same thing with Diablo, Ian and Pat, I guarantee you that 80% of this backlash would have been gone. But, you know, you're going, you're using, you're going the entitled crybaby angle with this video, and you're just missing and it. I hate that. They're not entitled crybabies. The point of what people are pissed at. On the other hand, being developed by another company means that they're not wasting any resources. Because people don't like two things. Micro tra microtransactions and the fact that Blizzard is kind of pulling money from people. But we're all entitled babies, right? Ignore it. And, um... But, you know, what do I expect more from the guy who will accept whatever Nintendo does and the guy who just goes along with whatever Pat says? Hey. <sighs> maybe discover this on a mobile device and know nothing about Diablo or get into it, and there is a large mobile market. Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily have to... It, it's not taking anything away from your experience if other people are experiencing a, a mobile version of Diablo, and it is probably the type of game you could put somewhat on a, a mobile app and you're not going to lose a huge amount. Of it. Again, it, it's not that people care that Diablo Immortal is coming to mobile platforms. They care... That it's not coming to other platforms. Yeah, okay, it's a mobile game, and people, I'm sure there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a decent percentage of people that, why is Diablo coming to mobile platforms? We don't want to see it get sullied and it, get its image tarnished. I'm sure there's that. But yeah, people don't want to pay for win, a pay to win model for Diablo. Because Blizzard is stupid about that kind of shit. Kind of like, okay, imagine they come out with a sequel to Fortnite, which I don't think is happening. Oh, God. Fortnite, the Battle Royale mode was is for every platform under God's agreement. Mac, PC, Xbox One, PS4, mm -hmm. Switch, iOS, Android devices, mm -hmm. you name it, you can get uh, Fortnite for any of them. Imagine they came out with Fortnite 2, let's call it, and they only came out with it for iOS and Android, and you couldn't get it for any other platform. The people who loved playing Fortnite on PC, the people who loved, who loved playing Fortnite on PS4, the Xbox One. Now the mm -hmm. sequel to Fortnite, one of their favorite games, is not coming to their platform of choice. They'd be equally as pissed. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's the same thing that's going on here. It's not that the Diablo community mostly cares that it's coming to mobile platforms. They care that they're being shafted, that it's not coming to their platform. Yet. Yeah. And they could get more people than they could mobile, but, oh, we're, in, like, again, they're entitled because they're just mad that he's coming to mobile platforms. Once again, Pat, once again, Pat Ian, you guys are always two steps behind everybody else. Well, everybody else is like, what, about ten steps in front of you. It's who they, it's who they are, bugs. It's what they do. Yeah. It's all it's all it's, it's what they do, man. They don't know they they don't know the like they don't know the atmosphere of what's going on, but like a bun but like a bunch of two dudes that don't know what's really going on, they try to chime with their two cents. I don't think I'm getting a little bit of backlash and hate for that because they because again, it's just two dudes don't really get anything that the others are trying to say. But we're all entitled crybabies. It's kind of like how Clement was like, you guys are all entitled crybabies because of Mega Man. I'm like, and that's a whole different can of worms again. Uh, that's a whole another can of worms entirely. Hey, uh, Bugsy. Yeah. You okay? I was like, well, yeah, my throat's kind of getting better. How did you even? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. 
I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it for the skit. It hurts still. Everywhere. I know. I know it does. But, honestly, it kind of sucks for them because they want to play, they probably want to play this too. This probably seems like a new fun thing for them while they wait for another Diablo to come out. That's something that they all could have played in the meantime and between time because not a lot of people like to play on their phones sometimes. Some people want to play on their consoles. Heck, they got us. Heck, we can play it on the Switch now. We can play that shit anywhere. A console game you can play on your hand. A console quality game you can play on your handheld. Anywhere. So y'all can't. So you, 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 Ian, and you, Pat, can't tell me anything different. They're they're just linking it because they're being shoved. It may there may be a little vocal minority that is kind of mad that it is on it is on. A tiny minority of people that may be mad that it is coming on it's coming on freaking mobile devices it could that could be there too but most people are pissed that it's not coming on their console of choice because that because it, it's like it's like they're limiting who can play this and who can't because people don't want to play on their phones some people want to play on the on the consoles or devices that they feel comfortable on there ain't nothing wrong with that. And I don't get Activision and Blizzard because it's like they don't want to make extra cash. They don't want to make extra revenue. Is that Activision and Blizzard are like, oh yeah, boy. Activision's like, yeah, we gave you Spyro when you crashed. We about, we about to make that fucking bank. By not bringing it to various platforms. Don't change the gameplay. Fine, you want to make it uh, tr microtransaction free for all? Go ahead. But also make it that... PC gamers can get in on that microtransaction free for all. I don't understand you for the life of me, Activision and Blizzard. This game existing does not make any of the Diablo games that you've already enjoyed uh, bad. No. Um, and it's not like this is being done instead of a, uh, a Diablo 4. Yeah, okay, fine. It's not being done instead of a Diablo 4, Ian. But like I said to you, they admitted they're bringing over talent, not for Diablo Immortal, it seems like, but they're bringing over talent internally for other mobile projects and you can't get mad at people for being angry that's like me yeah like i can't get mad at people for being angry at that either you can't either y'all motherfuckers want to get mad at people for being mad at this thing they have every right to be angry if, the, if that's what they are that's what they are once again pat once again pat in you guys shut yourself in the foot like when you made fun of sonic bam bam right in your foot right in your foot you can't walk for, you can't walk for like a month. You got a fucking, you got a fucking pin. You got a fucking pin in your foot. I don't have anything to, say. I don't have anything really to say about this. I feel like Pat and Ian are being ignorant once again because again they don't know or understand or want to understand anybody else other than their own shit. <sighs> Podcasters don't get everything right. There's nothing wrong with knowing every little detail. But Pat and Ian act like they're the authority on everything. Yeah, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Okay, it says... Okay, Hellseeker says... Never cared for Pat. Kind of thought he was HVN, an AVGN ripoff anyway. Well, mm. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, guys, to me, it is what it is. Do I think Pat and Ian really hate really hate really hate gamers? No, it's just another it's just another stupid thing that Pat and Ian say because they don't understand what the really what the issue really is, but they act like they do because they always act like they got the final word in. This is how they are. Personally, 
me and Bugsy, like, y'all got, y'all got every fucking right to be angry. We ain't gonna fucking stop you or tell you it's stupid to be angry because y'all, y'all want to, y'all probably want to, uh, Diablo Immortal on your PCs, on your, on your Xboxes, on your PlayStation 4s, on your Switches. And that's perfectly okay if you're angry. We ain't gonna tell you to stop. Fuck, some people need to let out their anger. Because you don't get to become an SJW where you're going to make everything else your problem. Their problem. <laughs> you're going to make everybody else, while you're mad, their problem. Straight up, they're, straight up, everybody. So, what we're saying is, you got every right to be angry. Don't fucking listen to Pattery and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like usual, because, because they just, again... Me and me and Unt me and Bugsy are at the pulse of the game at the pulse of like the game community, or at least we try to. See, but here's Pat and Ian, and here how here's how their finger is far away from the pulse. Like they're like really far away from the pulse. And here's that here's the finger away away from the pulse strand straight up their asses. Would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? <laughs> yeah, mall rat joke. I don't care I don't care. We're pulling out that old gag. Fuck, I still love the mall. I still love. I still love the mall rat joke. Yeah, me too. But yeah, once again, people. Once again, two freaking out of touch gamers think they know. Think they know the vast consciousness of other gamers and why they're upset. Like usual. <sighs> getting mad because they, they're bringing a new Castlevania game solely to mobile, which I actually think is happening, by the way. It's like how me and it's like how me and Bugsy felt like there was no new Castlevania games. All we get all all Castlevania got new for their series is a goddamn pachinko game. Yeah, I think that makes us feel. Can I he's done some good stuff for bringing them into Smash, sure. But we ain't never gonna see another Castlevania game. The only thing we're gonna see that's Castlevania related is what's on Netflix right now. Other than that, we ain't getting nothing. I was like, why are you still drinking that aloe? Yeah! It still fucking hurts from that sketch. Oh, Bugsy, why, why do you always do this to me, man? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'll, I'll help you out in a minute. Just get, just let's keep going. No more egg sketches. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to commemorate it. Banjo Kazooie are actually gonna be in the game. I just had to commemorate that. What if they're not in the game? You just made me shoot eggs out of my throat for no reason. Well, that's a risk I'm going to have to take on Sakamura. And I'll, I'll help you out later. Fuck you. All the fans were stuck with their into the mess oh. that was Diablo 3. Coming up oh, final game for Diablo game. This is the one aspect that I do agree with uh, Pat and Ian on. The change.org petitions for a lot of things are just ridiculous. Because here, like I said in my other videos about, I actually think I talked about that change.org petition, is companies like Activision and Blizzard don't care about you being mad like this and raising your hands and and fists mm -hmm. and screaming and stuff because if you're screaming and raising your fist and you're still throwing money at them that's all they see oh you're mad oh wow you just gave me a thousand dollars worth of money via microtransactions that sucks to see you mad i just keep making games like this because we're making billions of dollars off of them and you just keep complaining each time but still mm -hmm. spend the money the best way to protest if you really hate diablo immortal that much is with your wallets don't open them don't download the app don't you yeah, don't download the app. Don't give them any fucking money. Just let them know that this shit... Let them know with your wallets if you ain't paying for shit, you ain't downloading shit. And then they'll fucking go, oh shit, we fucked up. Because they ain't, because if it's one thing that Blizzard and Activision know better than anybody else, is your fucking money. Don't give them any of it, and they'll be like... Oh, we failed! Oh my god! No. <laughs> ah. Oh god! See, that's what they'll do. Yeah, probably not in that, just not in that kind of overdramatic kind of way, but something like that. 
And notice that me and Bugsy did not say that any dick sucking was involved. We're improving. Yes, we are. Progress. <laughs> okay, um... Re review Tech, I hope you ain't mad that we kind of used your video for this. But I kind of wanted to talk about it the moment I saw the title. Because it's like, in and freaking... And in freaking Pat, what they talking about now? They were talking about Sonic. Now they're talking about this. Now they're talking about that. Ugh. Pat has a history of oh tipster. Oh, it's a ah, it's a boy tipster. Pat has a history of going into stories without looking into them first, ha and handling criticism poorly. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't attacked the people. He hasn't attacked people for. He hasn't attacked people. Who did, who did videos of his, on the on heat on him yet? He's usually he's quick to clap back. Hopefully he learns a lesson, with this one. I doubt that he will. He's blocking people on Twitter who disagree with them. How petty. Fuck you, Pat. Seriously. Seriously. Pat the NES Punk, fuck you. If you're really blocking people because they disagree with you, well, I'm sorry that we all can't saunter. I'm sorry that your fans can't. I'm sorry that people can't saunter over and bow down to your greatness when they know you're wrong. Idiot. Pat, you're just a massive... Idiot. You and your little buddy. <laughs> what do I have to Frank, though? Frank was a good dude. Yeah, whatever happened, yeah, whatever happened to that dude? Either way it goes. Either way it goes, guys. Pat me. Pat... Seriously, you need to calm down for, pe for blocking people who disagree with you. You're just a... See, that just proves that you're a goddamn cunt. Because you rather... You rather not let... You rather... You rather fucking... Not let people say what they need to say about you. You rather let... Okay, you rather... Have people... You rather not let people... He you rather not hear what people gotta say about you so you can actually learn something... Like, so you actually can probably understand what you did wrong. But no, you're blocking people on Twitter now. <laughs> Classy, motherfucker. Classy. Like a little kid in the playground, dude. Like a little kid in the playground. Peace. And Rich, I mean, Rich from Review Tech, I think your name's Rich. I'm sorry if you're not. <laughs> you know, I just feel, man, this is why... I, Sometimes people in the gaming community can kind of suck dick. Sometimes. <laughs> See, we only need one dick sucking joke. Ah, ah, ah. <sighs> All right, Bugsy. Let's let's get out of here. And it, seriously, you need to help me with my burning throat. I got eggs from my from my butt through my mouth. I need. I need assistance. <laughs> All right, guys. While I go and help on Sakamaru with his little problem, uh, well, I'll see you guys later. And happy Friday. Get ready for Smash Miss Kids. Me and me and Sakamaru are gonna me and Sakamaru are gonna do something for you guys. So it's gonna be cool. Also, we may. Like, since this video is probably pre-recorded, we're probably gonna be playing Kirby all day, but we'll see what we can do. Because, you know, the new the new update, we gotta we gotta play that shit. See you guys later. And bye folks.